Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Littlest Floor Shop of Horrors with Amaryllis Foxglove, our vampirist florist who is getting herself established in a new city after leaving her home in Forgotten Hollows where her grandmother is still running the plasma farm, by the way. And she's settling in and trying to enjoy her very first day in her new home. <laughs> And she's actually doing that by reading a mystery book right now because unfortunately the sun has risen and because Amaryllis is a newer vampire, she's still a fledgling vampire, she cannot go out into the sun just yet so she has to stay inside during the day and we're going to have to find things for her to do indoors before she's able to go out and start exploring the world and hopefully finding some more hearts that she can romance. And last night she actually had a uh, pretty good time. She was actually able to go out and meet some new. She met Janelle, who I think we might actually message. Janelle is a mail carrier, so she might pop by and deliver some mail back at the house, who is cheerful. She's in the Page Turners Club, and she's a potential romantic interest, which would be quite useful because Amaryllis, of course, not only wants to grow flowers, but she wants to harvest a little bit of uh, those hearts by getting a boyfriend or girlfriend and going on two dates. I'm going to be trying to fulfill the serial romantic aspiration. I've never done that before, so I'm sort of curious about how this is going to turn out but Amaryllis has a lot on her mind what is she trying to do right now oh she's trying to chat with somebody let's let her go ahead and chat I mean even though she is a vampire and is going to have an awesome gothic little florist shop she is of course still attached to the modern world as well so I have no idea who she's chatting with right now Maybe Janelle? That would be kind of interesting if she was contacting Janelle. I don't know if she's contacting her grandmother. <laughs> her grandmother is actually a vampire too, and she runs the family farm for plasma. So we're going to be visiting her to harvest up some of those plasma fruits and to bring some plasma over here. And also to make sure that Amaryllis has enough to eat by having those plasma packets with her, or at least like the plasma fruit. Very excited to see that. We'll go to the farm and explore it in a little bit. But yeah, she's enjoying uh, chatting with Janelle, I guess. That's pretty fun. She's totally doing that all on her own. And when she manages to get the serial romantic aspiration filled, she will get the reward trait player. Players will never cause other Sims to get jealous, no matter what they do. And that may not be something I, you know, I would usually play, but I think it really is very fitting for a serial romantic vampire like this. I mean, how could you be jealous? when she's not even human. She's just so otherworldly in everything she does. But all right, I think she's actually chatting with Janelle. That's adorable. So they're actually conversing. Yeah, she just wants to chat with her all day. That's so cool. So they're just conversing on their own. Um, she's kind of getting a little thirsty again. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out on that. We may have to send her to her grandmother's house sooner than I thought so that she'll be able to get some of those plasma packets. But speaking of plasma packets, she actually needs to start doing some research because because she does not have any skills right now in her own vampire abilities. She's still a fledgling vampire, very, very young in her skills and abilities. And one of the uh, requirements of being allowed to take the money from the family funds and run her own little shop like this is that her grandmother is fully expecting her to learn how to become a really good vampire, if not a master vampire, because her grandma's kind of lazy, so she wouldn't really mind if, you know, her granddaughter never made it to grandmaster, then at least a, uh, a prime vampire is what she wants to see her granddaughter do. And I really want to get there because otherwise we're not going to be able to grow garlic and we're not going to be able to be out in the sun. I'm pretty sure, let's see, child of the moon and then vampire strength and then behold the herd, tamed thirst, immortal pleasures, mist form Form, influence emotions, dampen emotions, supernatural speed, deprived needs, sun resistance. There's where sun resistance is hiding. So we're going to have to follow this chain. Thank goodness it has to do with garlic. And then there's also manipulate life spirit. Gain the power to drain life spirit from other sims or restore life spirit from those who have been drained. Oh my gosh, that would be so interesting. So she's got a lot of really cool abilities. This is really awesome. This is much more in-depth and a lot more fun than the vampires have ever been for me before and sims so i'm really excited to see where this goes so she's going to need to learn her own vampire skills too grandma was willing to foot the bill for buying this place and she was willing to get a teensy little bit of money started we are actually in a retail shop and so what you can do once you have get to work is you can buy a retail store and you can actually have your sims just live at the retail store by never sending them back home and that's what we're doing with amaryllis right now and so we can also transfer funds to and fro the household or the current store so 
So what our funds actually are, are the current retail store funds. The household funds that you see here, that's grandma's money. So the number you see down in the left corner down there is actually grandma's money and we're not allowed to touch it because that's grandma already footed the bill with being able to rent this place. Uh, the money that Amaryllis has and the money that she has managed to snag is actually going to be listed over here in business funds. So we need to make the business funds go up and I've never run a retail store properly before so we're trying all sorts of fun new things. So many new things. It should be a lot of awesome, like awesomeness. So let's go ahead and get started on the vampiric strength though because it's morning. She can't really go anywhere. It's pretty early. Uh, I don't know if she wants to start trying to buy things and sell things right away. I think it's more important to make sure she doesn't like attack the customers by making sure she has a steady supply of things to drink from and also working on her gardening skill. So we can start by going to vampire secrets and search for information on vampires. And then we'll have to stop chatting with Janelle then. Pretty cool that we can even talk to Janelle at all. I'm just going to let her, there we go. Yeah, she's pretty happy because she's been chit chatting with Janelle and now she's going to do some research on vampire secrets. <laughs> Discovered vampire secrets. Amaryllis is delving deep into researching vampires. There seems to be a lot of knowledge she could unlock if she continues research. <laughs> Wonderful. And did we just get another? Yeah, we just got another PowerPoint. Huzzah. So if I want to be able to get garlic immunity. Uh, and then what was the one I wanted to have over here? I gave her bat form. Probably because I was just so excited. And I do want her to be able to be mesmerizing. So, or not mesmerizing, but yeah, charming. I want her to be able to be charming. So it looks like I'm going to need to save up two PowerPoints to be able to get eternally welcome in order to get the garlic and in order to get to the sun resistance. And I think it, I think Amaryllis would love that. If she had sun resistance, she could go garden and she wouldn't have to sit here and just daydream about gardening. So she's going to start doing research on vampires. And I think that gives you, yeah, the vampire lore skill. Sims with a thirst for knowledge will sink their teeth into these books. Sims would be a baddie to pass up the helpful tips contained within. Vampire lore skill is improved by researching into vampires on the computer or by reading unlocked vampire tomes. Amaryllis has discovered the Von Flavis Vampire Emporium. Okay. What was that noise? <laughs> Amaryllis has discovered the Van Fl uh, Flavorous Vampire Emporium while searching for vampires. She can now purchase Encyclopedia Vampirica Volume 1 on the computer under Vampire Secrets. Awesome. Oh, it's GeekCon. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, what does that have to do with vampires? That is like techno music. What's happening here? <laughs> it's just GeekCon. Oh my gosh. I was so, so perplexed. Well, we can't go to GeekCon, even though that would be a good place to try out some new flavors of uh, human blood because we're stuck inside due to the sun. Very, very annoying for poor Amaryllis here. But now she can actually buy the, vamp the vampire lore book. So let's go ahead and get Encyclopedia Vampirica number one. And we We'll go ahead and snag that and just spend a little bit of time reading it. But and I have a feeling that these are like age old copies passed down from one member of the family to the next. And it was given to her by her grandmother. And, you know, for somebody who has two chairs, she could relax in. She's not sitting down on anything. So maybe we should invest in some spots that she could sit and rest. And I also think it'll be really fun to start stocking up her store because we have this whole area that we can start filling with kind of gothic themed plants. But I think think it makes sense to wait on picking out some of the plants until we can start getting the garden up a little bit but we really need to keep an eye out because whatever business funds we have here that's all we've got to work with I do not think that her grandmother is going to foot the bill for anything else so Emerilis is going to have to find ways to make money and she's going to have to make her business successful and she's going to have to keep herself alive which having more vampire skills uh, are definitely going to help with but she looks so uncomfortable. We should definitely get her a chair at the very least. Oh, she's so cute. Look at that face. I love her already. Isn't she the best? I just love her little face. I'm not usually into like the aesthetic of having the more gothic coloring because I'm so obsessed with plants and greenery. Give it all to me. But this is just so cute. I really love her. Okay, so let's give her a nice chair so she can sit down and relax while she is busy, busy reading. So we want to go to... 
And this will be a good way to sort of just look through comfort, look through some of the new things provided in the Vampire's Pack, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with by now, but it's just fun to see. So let's go ahead and filter items, and we're going to go by packs, and we'll do vampires. All right, there we go. And then we'll look at all of the comfortable things that we could choose for her to sit down on inside of her little room. This is her bedroom. I'm thinking as a romantic, I think there's a cough cough a woo of the who that can happen inside of the coffin, but she may want a proper bed at some point. Um, so maybe, maybe we should put her chair over here, but at the same time, I mean, it seems redundant to have so many chairs, but she's not using this chair to sit and read at. So let's look, let's see, thrill of the chase. That's really pretty. It's also very expensive. And then we have stone hearted love seat, very lovely, but it doesn't look very comfortable. Then we've also got the Gothic love seat, which is really cute. Oh, that seems so her, doesn't it? I wonder if I can just like slip it and then she could be able to like maybe make out with somebody on the couch which seems a little bit like oh ho but she has a romance sim so we need to be thinking about these things uh then there's different coffins there's like the aged wood coffin she has the regular coffin there's also the all-inclusive luxury cruiser coffin the motto of this prestigious manufacturer is when it, all that matters is eternal luxury 99 percent of the time this vessel is used to house the one percent in fact it is so expensive and luxurious that is always referred to as a casket, never a coffin. Oh my. Oh, and then we have the framed living room chair, which is kind of awesome. We also have the gothic dining chair, and we have this gothic dining chair, which is what she has to sit on. It's actually very expensive, but for some reason, she's just not finding that she wants to use a lot of her other chairs. So, hmm. She's not using those chairs. Let's see, maybe I'll get her. <gasps> There's a green one! I'm going to go with the green one. No surprise to anybody. And let's see if she uses that for reading. And if she doesn't, we'll sell it immediately because we're spending like precious, precious funds that she needs to use. Let's try to win one of those GeekCon challenges. I hear they're giving out some great prizes for the highest score. Janelle, that's really awesome, but we die. Like, I don't think Janelle, I, I think that oh, Valentine's Day oh, meeting, yeah. meeting on Valentine's midnight wasn't exactly, um, it just didn't click in Janelle's head that that actually was a vampire encounter. So we'll have to just keep poor little Amaryllis inside. She is using this chair though. So I guess we'll go ahead and keep this. And then we will start buying, ooh, Look at the cute little candle. I forgot I put a candelabra up there. That's awesome. And we will start buying a few of the, um, we'll start buying a few of the plants to actually start selling stuff so we can start making some money back in because now we're really low on funds and that's not good. And we'll start harvesting up uh, crops in the world. I think we'll start harvesting up like these fossil pieces. Selling fossils and minerals at her store seems to be pretty fitting. I like that she has spots that she can harvest them at. Hopefully we can harvest the wild strawberry bush and this beautiful snapdragon plant soon too. All right, discovered plasma packs. Amaryllis discovered that there's an alternative method for vampires to satisfy their thirst. She can now order plasma packs on the computer. Now that's pretty useful, except that she usually goes for a more wholesome organic method, either biting people directly or being able to go back to the family farm and getting the plasma there. So they have a lot of plasma trees. I'm not sure if they'll be ready to harvest yet, but hopefully soon. Amaryllis reads that frogs are a valuable source of materials for creating your own plasma packs. Oh my gosh! She could harvest some frogs and create plasma packs from them because we've got some little frogs back here and we've got a few we've got a few like crystals and all sorts of things she could start selling. Oh, are those more snapdragons? Oh, those are more snapdragons. She's trapped inside, trapped inside by the fact that it's bright and oh, there's roses. Yes, we definitely need to gather up these roses. That is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to plant roses. I really want her to sell tons and tons of roses all over the place. Sir, hello. So we have uh, Lawrence here. Mm -hmm. Then we have Josephine Nobles. Hello, Josephine. There's a lot of clubs. I didn't know that there'd be so many clubs. I didn't make these clubs. Do Sims come with their own clubs now? Or did I just miss out on like these guys are somehow in base, like in the game? 
They've got a lot of human food. That's good. Human food attracts humans. We can hopefully feed off of them when they arrive. If we weren't trapped inside by the dra dreaded sun. And then there's this. This is so pretty over here. Oh my gosh, what's over here? There's all sorts of plants growing in these pots. We'll have to check this out. I didn't notice this when I, I just threw down like random gardens. But I didn't notice that these gardens actually have plants in them. So we'll have to come and harvest whatever plants are over here and try to grow them. So there's quite a few plants we can start with. I'm really excited. I just downloaded... Um, um, tons and tons and tons of random gardens and I filled the world with lots of lots so we will have tons of areas to go and just enjoy a really wide vibrant living world which is going to be really really fun when it comes to sims 4 that why do you have a gallery if you're not going to smack down tons of lots and things people have made and then go visit them anyway amaryllis you did something amaryllis that reads that vampires can be out during the day as long as they have a ceiling over their head which stops the most powerful sun's rays Ooh, so maybe we could send her to the church that i downloaded and she could just spend all day at the church on the other side of newcrest kind of of, uh, kind of creeping around the church as a vampire. That would be pretty interesting. And there's more people starting to show up and she's getting pretty uncomfortable. She really needs to feed. I wonder if we can call Dennis in. Who are you, Dennis? You're just, well, you wouldn't be my first pick, that's for sure. In fact, I wonder, hmm, you know what? She's so distracted and she's getting so hungry. I wonder if we can actually ask Janelle to come over, invite to hang out. This is rushing uh, her very first human relationship a little bit. But I have a feeling she doesn't think straight when she's super, super hungry. Please, Janelle. Oh, she's going to come over. Yes. Oh, my gosh. We might actually be able to survive because we will, we will have a little bit of food to eat. Yay. Meaning Janelle is coming. Hey, Amaryllis, we'd love for you to join Cub co Club Cosplay. What do you think? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. They must think she's cosplaying as a vampire. That's hilarious. Sure, let's have her go ahead and join. And then, uh, welcome to Cub Cosplay. We're uh, happy that you decided to join our club. We're having a club gathering and would love for you to introduce yourself to the group. Well, we can't do that right now because the sun is out, but we're going to go ahead and accept that because I think that means that people are just thinking that she's cosplaying and as like maybe some sort of gothic character and they're not really appreciating that she's actually a vampire. All right, let's come over. And Janelle, let's go ahead and... Hmm, what do we want to do? I think we would want to be complain about sunlight, uh, ask to cloud gaze, no, you'll die. Uh, how about ask about day? So let's come on down and chit chat with Janelle about her day. So hopefully, no, Janelle, where are you going? You went the wrong way. Hold still, Janelle. So Janelle just came right in. Welcome. I hope you're not freaked out. She looks a little bit nervous. Her lip is wibbling a, a wee bit. I imagine that she's somewhat, she's feeling uncomfortable for some reason. So let's go ahead and let's, let's invite her to come in. Oh, what's this? Uh, freshen up in the mirror. Oh, that's so cute. Amaryllis wants to freshen up now that uh, she's here and Janelle has come over. So let's go ahead and invite, let's come sit together. Let's invite Janelle in and then we might freshen up and Janelle could see that we don't even have, we don't even happen to have a reflection in the mirror. But we're definitely, I wonder if Janelle is like, wait a second. Okay, this is getting creepy. I could see how she was thinking before. Maybe that was just like a cosplay thing. There was already another cosplayer at the park last night. But no, this is the real deal. This is definitely the real deal. So let's go ahead and maybe ask about day again. Maybe enthuse about the outdoors to say how beautiful it is here. And isn't the graveyard in the back just lovely? But the sunlight is uh, a little bit much to deal with. And then maybe, let's see, vampire. No, I want vampire abilities. Give me vampire abilities. And then maybe, can we drink her plasma? No, she's been, she, we drank her plasma recently, so we're not able to do anything. No, I, I would think you should be able to drink plasma. But what if it puts somebody at risk? Hmm. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Maybe she can sense. Maybe Amaryllis can sense that Janelle is too weak because her plasma was recently drunk. Um, hmm. I wonder how long it takes until Sims recover from that. So I wonder if we should go and eat a, a frog instead. But we're getting really thirsty. If we tried to auto-solve, what would she do? She can't do anything. 
<laughs> She's like, there's nowhere for me to get any food. <laughs> I think I'm going to look in. I has to move in. Jeez Louise. These, these two are like, really? What is she doing? Janelle is flirting. Oh, she's complimenting the outfit. That's so cute. All right. Well, this isn't going to help us. And I didn't really want to rely on plasma packs because it just seems like a, a sneaky way. Oh my gosh. And she's confessing attraction. Janelle didn't take that very well. Hmm. Well, they're talking clothes, and I think Janelle thinks that they are actually, and we'll complain about problems a little bit, to indicate that we're really, really hungry, because she's so thirsty. But since they were talking about, and we'll do smooth recovery, because she said something, oh my, she said something that upset Janelle. It's 2 p.m., Hopefully it's going to be dark enough that we can go out and get some food. I don't know if she's going to survive. And Janelle, please, please, can I please? Please, no? Okay. Oh, all right. Well, if we're not able to feed from Janelle, and I think I'm going to look for a mod to see if Sims can feed off of, or vampires can feed off of Sims who have been recently drained. And if it causes somebody to pass away... I think that'd be kind of an interesting dynamic to add in because that would just show how dangerous the empires can be. And if they don't restrain themselves around those they care about, things can happen. But I actually think it's really fun that they've been talking about clothes so much. So I'm going to come over and I haven't ever really done this before. But I want to ask to see outfit and then I want to see what her formal wear would be. Because maybe Amaryllis is going to try to like gently dissuade Janelle from worrying about the vampire aspect of things by talking about uh talking about clothes since Janelle complimented her outfit oh my Janelle you know what we're going to help Janelle out with her fashion let's say that this is where Janelle is like asking about the pretty dress and asking about the fashion so let's help Janelle out with her uh, formal outfit I think she'd really enjoy that she's super cheerful and adorable too so we'll do that today, and I think that poor Amaryllis is going to find herself totally starving. All right, Janelle, let's go ahead and get you in a quick new outfit. We'll go with something very vampire related because it's just so much fun to work with the new packs. So let me see. All right, so this will be a good opportunity to kind of sort through the awesome outfits that came in the vampire pack too. And I actually really love some of the dresses that came in the pack. I am kind of in love with them. Let's see if we can find some. This one is hilarious, but I do not think that it would actually be Janelle's style. Uh, it definitely is more something that you would expect to find, say on Cynthia, who is Amaryllis's grandmother. So let's look for something a little bit more modern and sleek, but definitely with a touch of a vampireness around it. Um, I think that those are the two full body, three full body. I like this little outfit. It's pretty cute. Let's see. Um, like this might be Janelle. This is really adorable, but maybe she wants like a two part formal outfit. So let's see what's available. You can have the same shirt that we've got with, uh, with Amaryllis. And this is a really nice shirt. Actually, I could see her offering Janelle the same shirt that she has, but then we've also got this really cute little shirt right here. We've got, let's see any other from the vampire pack. We've got these ones from the vampire pack as well. And then I do have some modded shirts that I downloaded that are just oh that's so cute that are just like modded versions of the vampire stuff so let's see what kind of we've got these pants we've got this skirt and we've got these pants when it comes to the things that came with the vampire pack as well I really like the clothes they're definitely really nice looking um let's see anything else no all right so let's go with something full body because i think that amaryllis is just going to pull something that's kind of like awesome and gothic straight out of her closet and stick it on top of her friend so let's go with um hmm if these are the three we have to pick from then let's go ahead and just stick her in some some really fancy formal outfit like so so that now janelle is wearing like a really super fancy outfit that's straight from amaryllis's closet so that should be really fun i want to see how that looks on there and of course she thinks she's just like dressing up like a vampire cosplay or something like that all right so let's see oh that looks so cool so that's what you would expect if she walked straight out of a vampire's closet so amaryllis congratulations you have really taken good care of your friend and you are totally dying because she needs something uh let's go do a heartfelt compliment 
And then maybe kiss hands. I want to see what that interaction looks like. I don't think I've ever done that before. All right. Janelle. Oh, is Janelle flirting with us? What? They're so adorable. Oh, it's so cute. So that's what that interaction looks like. Hugging all on her own. Feeling pretty confident. Wanting to have a drink at a club. Freshen up in the mirror. Catch a fish, possibly, so she has something to eat. Oh, and that reminds me. Some of you guys suggested that what we should do is get a nice basement and, like, start the herbalism skill in the basement and sell the potions from the herbalism skill. And then also some of you guys suggested getting the vampire fish as a pet. As a pet that Amaryllis could have. And I really love that idea too so this is really funny i think it's hilarious that somehow the cosplaying club in town has decided that amaryllis is a cosplayer and i love how janelle seems to be really enchanted with her sense of style so amaryllis is just going to be throwing stuff straight out of her closet onto janelle uh, as an offering now janelle please please Ah, okay, and we cannot drink from Janelle, unfortunately. So I think we're going to have to send her home pretty soon because we're going to get really irritated since we aren't able to drink anything. And then next time, oh my gosh, and Amaryllis is offering her all sorts of roses all on her own. So, I mean, I don't think she's really regretting being trapped inside by the sunlight, but huh huh she's really really intense i think that she's really wanting to just enchant the human and already she's got this human dressed up in some pretty cool outfits and is feeling very confident about her ability to interact with humans and she's leveling up in the charisma skill and everything that's so cool huh all right nice and now i guess we'll send i think we're gonna go ahead and send janelle home since we can't drink from her because it's really frustrating not to be able to drink any plasma from her. And we will have to come back when Amaryllis will be able to drag herself back to the Forgotten Hollows over to her grandma's place. And we will see if grandma has any of the plasma fruit ready to drink. So we're going to say goodbye to Janelle for now. Um, Let's see. First kiss would be fun. But I think she is not in the mood for that. Because let's see. Ask to hang out. Ask if single. How do you say like, okay, I'll see you later. Um, I guess you would actually come over to actions disband group and then can we ask her to leave like nicely and no, they just like asked to move in. <laughs> oh my gosh. How do you get somebody to leave once they come over when you're on a retail lot? I wonder. Are you just stuck with them forever? Compared to long lost love? That's hilarious. Um, let's try that out. I want to see... I want to see what she says. Maybe she can be like, you remind me of a love story that I read in the uh, family history. Oh, wow. That's kind of a cute interaction. Oh, my gosh. That's an adorable interaction. And compared to long lost love. Oh, my. Maybe she's thinking of her mother and all of the, the romances that her mother got into. Because her mother, her wonderful mother... um. Nightshade is actually gone. And yes, Nightshade is such a silly name, but that was her mother's name. She's kind of a hippie of the vampire world. All right. So I'll have to see how I can send. Yeah, I'm going to have to see how I can send this one home because I didn't intend to keep her here forever and ever. Maybe I have to like open and close the store. Who knows? But uh, once I figure out how to send her back, then we will come back and we will actually go visit the Vampire Family Farm over at Cynthia's place so we can gather up some of the plasma fruit and have something to keep Amaryllis well fed so that she'll be able to focus. Are you on your way home yet? I really didn't mean to like adopt her. Okay, I guess she's just like staying here for now. But yeah, we'll see how uh, how I can send her home. And then when Amaryllis comes back, we will go to the family farm, gather up some of those plasma fruit and bring them back. So we'll have something to eat and we'll start planting some plasma fruit and uh, seeing what it looks like. So I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.